Good day, everyone. Thank you for joining us here at WSKI TV 17. Year round, you can see this forecast for the main high peaks region at our website, WSKITV.com, brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. And for Sunday, we have partly to mostly sunny skies, nice temperatures, 23 to 27 at the summit, 35 to 39 at the base, winds not even going to be noticeable even at the top of the mountain. What a beautiful day to be here. So much snow. Conditions are excellent up on the hill. Hopefully a little bit more snow in the forecast on Monday. We'll have increasing clouds, 22 to 26 up top, 32 to 36 degrees at the base. Again, wind's not an issue on Monday, and hopefully we'll see a little bit of light snow moving in on Monday night and continuing throughout the day on Tuesday for a few inches accumulating. 34 at the base, 19 up top for some nice dry powder up high. Wednesday, snow showers continue, 32 at the bottom of the mountain and 16 at the top. And Thursday, back to partly sunny skies, 35 at the base and 24 at the summit. Birchwood Interiors brings you our trail conditions for Sunday. We're looking at 148 trails and trail section, backside, bracket, all open. And they do have some reservations open for Sunday, last we knew. So if you want to do some cat skiing, check that out online. We expect to have Snubber at 8 o'clock, Sawduster and Skidway at 8.30, 9 o'clock for Mooscalator, serving the beginner terrain at the base of the mountain. Also an 8.30 start for Double Runner East, Super Quad and Skyline in the center part of the mountain. Over on the east side, 8.30 start for King Pine up high and Wiffle Tree down below. Great family-friendly area off of Wiffle Tree. 9 o'clock start for Timberline from the summit and 8 o'clock for West Mountain. From the summit, they will groom Tote, Gogo Line, Nitro, and Gage. They'll also groom all of Timberline, Bridal Chain, Kings, Haywire, Hayburner, Spillway, Sluice, Skidder, and Wedge, and Comp Hill in the center part of the mountain. On the east side, Hallback, Widowmaker, Flume, Ram Down, Two Hall, Wiffle Tree, Moose Alley, check that out if you have little ones, Buckboard, Cruiser, Slasher, and Rollway. On the west side, Scoot, Windrow, and Upper Glancer for a change. Down here in the flats, Candy Side, Lower Winters, Boardwalk Landing, Snowbrook, and Birches. Number two, Skiers Responsibility Code. People ahead or downhill of you have the right of way. Please remember to always know and respect the Skiers Responsibility Code. Ice rink may be closed to the outdoor center, but the cross-country skiing and snowshoeing is fantastic. Things will be firm to begin with and then soften up in the afternoon. The same is true of Carabasset's fat bike trails, so probably by the afternoon we'll stay off the fat bike trails. Sports and Fitness Center are always a great option because you can ski in and ski out for a quick and easy bite from their cafe. And get out while you can. The snowmobiling is fantastic around our region. It will not last long, so make the most of the excellent conditions. And while you're out there on your sled or in your car, head on out to Teapon Lodge and Cabins because mud season is closing in. Their last day is next weekend on March 18th. We have a few more weekends of our live shows here at WSKI. Be sure to tune in on Sunday morning to see the latest from Kip's First Tracks report and all kinds of interesting guests. If you want to see what the weather's doing at Sugarloaf, no matter where you are, our quad cam is available 24-7 all year round. We are the insiders on the outside around here. Know before you go by keeping in touch through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and our two YouTube channels, one for the streaming quad cam and the other for all our local content. Spring ahead, extra hour of daylight tomorrow afternoon.